Hey guys, in this tutorial, we are going to talk about creating Nuxt pages. That's right, Nuxt 3 pages. So in Nuxt, you can create pages pretty easily. So this is a regular Nuxt app. If you want to follow along in this tutorial, I suggest you go to Nuxt apps. It's coming, it's coming. Nuxtapps.com. <laughs> And download this Nux3 bare bones starter kit so you can follow along. So once you download that, the first thing you want to do, you're gonna have your app will look like this. It's just bare bones, there's really nothing in it. So the first thing you want to do is run yarn, which is going to install your node modules. It's gonna run for a little bit here. And then once you do that, we're still downloading. Shouldn't take too long. So while we're waiting for this to download, pages are part of the Nuxt app and they help you navigate from one part of your web application to another. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to create pages and how to link your app from one page to another. Right, that's still building. I said I probably like made the video faster. But while that's building, I would like to talk about Nox Apps. And Nox Apps is a site that I created, which is designed to help you launch your Nox app really fast. You don't have to start from scratch. Starting from scratch can be hard. You can launch your Nox app really, really fast. So it says here, save weeks of writing code and trying to learn Nox. Use our starter kits and launch your app today. If you don't need very much in your app, go ahead, download one of these, and then you can launch your app really fast. These are just bare bones, but I plan on adding a whole lot more here. Y'all willing. All right, so we have installed the dependencies in our app. Let me see, now this one, this one, all right. So after you run Yarn, which installs all your dependencies, you get your node modules there. The next thing you want to run is Yarn Dev, which starts your Nox app in a development environment. So once this has started, where's that, where's that? Oh. It's going to be at localhost 3000 or 3001. So I'm just going to pause this video until this has built. Can I pause the video. All right. So our app has built. It is at 3000. So when we go to localhost 3000, you get your regular Noxt app. Now this is just a one page application right now. And they tell you here, remove this welcome page by removing Noxt welcome tag or creating an app to view file. Okay. So how do we create pages? So the first thing you want to do is remove this Noxt welcome. Actually, you don't need to remove it. Just change this to Noxt page. That's the first thing you want to do. Then the next thing you want to do is in your root folder, you're going to create a pages directory or pages folder, just like that. So what this tells Nuxt is that this is no longer a single page application. It is a multi-page application. That's why we changed this root app, uh, you know, from Nuxt welcome to next page. This tells it that next page. And now you see down here, it says there's no match found for location with path slash. That's the, there's no home page. That's what it's saying. So we're going to go ahead and create a home page. And the way we do that, we go into the pages folder, create a file here, and just say index.view. So this is our first, this is our home page. So Let's see what this is going to look like. Uh, you want to have the, a single 
root here even though we're using nux3 and i think we're not supposed to be having that but it acts funny when you have multiple components you know it prefers to have a um, single root you see it being slowed down by oh okay so we have one a single root divs and we're just gonna call that let's just call this um home page so let's see what our app looks like now for for if we refresh what do we get Should we get a page not found? Hmm. What are we doing wrong? Let's see here. So we have our app dot view. It says next page. Go to index. Uh, index dot view template templates. Next page. Are we in the right place? This is localhost three thousand. There we are. We need to re refresh that. Don't know why. But so th there you have it. So that's one page. So now how do you create other pages and navigate to those pages? Well, again, it's easy. So let's say we want to create an about page. In fact, let's create a very simple navigation. Like really simple. So let's say we want to have an about page. And we want to have a contact page and then what's the last one yeah I don't know privacy policy page so if we save that vit is really fast look at that change in 0 0.007 milliseconds <laughs> so here are these pages now we want to be able to click on these and link to actual pages so what we're going to do is we're going to use the next link. Um, I guess it's a tag. <laughs> so this is the next link. The next link tag is used to route to a particular page in your application. When you have next link there, all you got to say is two, right? And then we're going to route to slash about so look at the change that is made up front here see it says about page it says i've been there before i think i created it before but but what happens when you click there it says page not found we have no such page as about and if you look at the bottom here at the bottom right can here see what well, well, we're supposed to be looking to an about page so let's go create the about page. The way you do that is right in the pages directory here. You just create an about about page, just like that. So let's make sure that we can see it. So we're gonna add template. We're gonna add a single root, and we are also going to just say this is the about page all right so now when we go and you click here gotta refresh that why do we gotta refresh it camp out see that about page if you can go back and click about page go back click about page and you can do the same thing for the contact page and the privacy policy so go here instead of me having to repeat all these in VS Code if you put your cursor right here and you type control C and control B or command C and then command V on a Mac it will copy the whole line and paste the whole line so we go copy paste paste like that then we just change this this is going to be the contact page and this is going to be the just say privacy, privacy policy page. And we're going to say this is going to be called contact. This is going to be called privacy. And same thing here, rather than me having to 
rewrite these. I'll just, uh, wait, wait a minute. Not that one. It's this, that one. Copy and paste that. And then change that to just grab C. Take a while. Hmm. Just gonna run this like check if the file name has changed. I think it's just faster to just create a new one. So privacy, this is a privacy page. Then the other one is contact. Can say single root here each one contact page. There you go. So let's see if this will work. Oh, look at that. If you get some more space here, but do I need to do that? I mean, this is really a tutorial about pages and not about, uh, I guess we could. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, what should I do? Style. Uh, what's that? Display uh, uh, block, I think. There you go. <laughs> it's going to make it really simple. You don't, you don't need to do this. I'm just doing this so we can see um, each individual line. All right, so there we go. So it's a very simple tutorial about pages. So you click on that. I think you've got a fresh or something just to maybe um, that's working, it's fine. Contact page. So there you have it. So, but what if you want to create a page within um, a folder? Like, let's say you want to have, uh, let's say one about animals, right? So let's say we have, right within the pages folder and then create an animals folder an animals folder and in the animals I'm gonna create um, like dog dot view I'm gonna create index dot view and we're gonna just create a cat. View. I'm just gonna okay do the same thing here. Create template. Single root, which helps navigation. H1 and just gonna say cat page. Then I'm just gonna copy and paste all these. Copy that. And then paste it. This is the dog page. And um, so the index is what you go to when you just type in animals. I'm just gonna call this animals. So should I bother linking to them? I guess we could. I'm just gonna. There, I'm just gonna copy and paste this and paste that and paste that. So we're gonna link to animals. Just like that. And then we're gonna link to animals dog. Then we're gonna link to animals Cat. So here, it says animals page. This is the dog page. This is the cat page. Okay. Let's see what we got. Go back to the index page. This is the home page with all. There we go. So we have three more pages. So this is the animals page. Oh, that's not working. What 
did I do? Oh, let's see. Dog page. Did we link to these? I think we did, but we did something wrong. So, animals. Let's do. Oh, yeah, that, that's a mistake. <laughs> this is uh, just supposed to be. I'm gonna re rename this. <laughs> it's just animals, just like like that. All right. And do you see how it was telling us here? Next would tell you if you have a route, you know, that doesn't work. And a route is just a link to a page that doesn't work. So we didn't have all these, but now it looks like um, no location found for, uh, okay. Yeah, now this is not working. <laughs> okay. So let's see now, it's gonna work. Shouldn't have to refresh. Animals, there we go. So this is hitting this index page right there. And when we go back, click on dog, hits the dog page, cat hits the cat page. And that's just how you, you do it. And as you learn more, you'll be able to build more complex uh, apps, like for example, maybe something like this. Well, this one has no pages, but let's say something like this. This is our church app that I built and it has several pages as you can see up here and it's quite complex so if you really want to know how to build Nuxt apps like this hey go ahead and click the link below and I'm going to tell you this little secret of how how to build your Nux apps really fast instead of starting from scratch and if you want to learn more about the deeper things you know learn how to build really good Nux apps hey let's get in touch so click the link below I'll give you guys uh, tips about how to build your Nox apps really fast so you're not starting from scratch and just banging your head against the wall because it can be like that so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will talk to you soon